hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to chimino chimino's kitchen today's video i'm going to show you guys how i prepare my delicious egusi soup most of you have been asking me to make a video about that so today's video is going to be interesting i want you guys to stay and cook with me and try and watch the video till the end so that you can be able to get the whole info on how I prepare my delicious Nanja Egusi soup. And if you're just watching this video, please pause a little bit and hit that red subscription button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also on your notification button that anytime I upload new video, you will be the first to be alerted. And if you are new to my channel, thank you very, very much. Go back to my previous videos. You will see a lot of fun videos and cooking videos to entertain yourself. And please, guys, try and follow my Facebook page at Chimino4. Let's get started. So, please. So, let's get started. These are the things I'll be using to prepare the egusi soup. I'll be using this beef stock. This is pomo. This is pomo. This dry fish and stock fish. Oh, this is the option I anyway. These are uh, this is shaki. This is my melon egusi. I'll be using this vegetable. It's dry okaze, okaze leaf. This is sliced onion. This crayfish. This blended pepper. This is my oil, bread oil. This is my Titus fish. I'm going to grill it. Maggi salt. So. Get started first. I need to boil my pomo. You know, pomo takes a whole lot of time to be done. So I want to first of all boil my pomo so that it will be soft enough to start the cooking. So this is my pomo. I want to boil it. So as that is on, I need to soften my stock fish, the dry fish. I'll pour hot water so that it will be soft and keep it for some time to be soft. Enough, so. That is basically what I'm going to do now. So, after a few minutes, I'll be adding all that in. But for now, let our meat done first. Our pomo. So, the next thing, uh, see the pomo. It's boring, so I need to add the shaki. Right, to be soft also, to add the shark here. Okay. So, let's go back to the shark. Cover the pot. So, guys, the pomo is soft enough, so it's time to add our beef. So we we'll add it in to our inside. After a few minutes, the beef will. So we need to add the beef stock. We we'll add our diced onion inside. Okay, add cubes of maggi. I add two cubes of the inside. Yeah. So, so you see to allow the meat to to boil for some minutes. Add salt. So we 
allow the meat to boil everything to boil for some minutes so cover the pot and allow it to boil for some minutes so the meat is done look at it here so all i did i just extract the water um because it's done i don't like my meat so done so this is the water i extracted the water is here so let's prepare the abusi so I need to add my stock fish and my dry fish. Okay. My dry fish and stock fish is inside. So this is my kazi. I add because it dried once, so I, I will I add hot water. I just need to add hot water inside. Soften it a little bit before I add it. You can use any anything. You can use any vegetable you like. I use bitter leaf, very washed bitter leaf. You can use ooze, um, uh, ogo. You can use anything you like, but I'll be using this ukaze. So let's prepare my ebusi. So I transfer my ebusi to this bowl. Water, hot water inside to prepare the dough. Most of people try their yogusi bowl. I don't like it. I prefer my own like this. I like to get that seed of yogusi seed inside. So I like to prepare my like this. Hot water, not too much water, so you can be able to get the dough. So, okay, so, this is my crayfish and my pepper blended pepper. See how the goosey looks like. So I'll be taking using my spoon to take it small, small, and be putting it inside the pot. I prefer it this way. If you don't like this way, you can also fry it. Because most of the time, I cook my goosey very well. Some people complain that after eating a goosey, they will be purging, going to the toilet. Or I cook my goosey for a longer time, like 20 minutes. With that, you don't need to complain about a goosey disturbing you. Why it disturb is most of people they don't most of people don't cook it very well. Once they just add it, they'll bring it down. But by the time you cook your goosey very well or you fry it, I don't think you will complain about that. So look at it. I don't need to turn it. I add my oil, my red oil. So look at it, guys. Cut it here. So all you need to do, I don't need to turn it now. I'll just cover my pot for like few minutes before I can be able to turn it so and lower the heat so that it won't burn so it's okay let's wait for a few minutes so guys after a few minutes how this looks like So, 
we need to add our meat inside. Sorry, not to use our card in here. Pando yam or semo. Whichever one. This is real nice jack of fat eggs. Rich, rich, everything is inside. So, guys, we are done. Like it. Hope you guys like it. So guys, I have to end my video here. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you do, please give my video a thumbs up. Share my video and comment. Guys, share my video with your family and friends. And don't just watch my video and go hit that subscription button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow my Facebook page for new updates. I upload video every Sunday. New interesting vlog every Sunday. So click on my channel every Sunday. You will see a whole lot of vlog videos to watch. And thank you guys for watching my video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.